Glorious food. Who doesn't love food, bruh? Chicken, steak, potatoes, chips, vegetables, broccoli, lettuce, cabbage, sweet corn, peas, mushy, mushy peas, mushrooms, mushy mushrooms. Yo, who doesn't even like a baguette? You know, we go El Francais, yo, we like a wee baguette, the nice soft baguette, bit of burr, spread that shit in there. Damn. And of course, being English, I love a bloody fish and chips, mate. Uh, what else do I like? That's about it, actually. I just eat fried fish and fried chippies. But I'm all about health. Health is wealth, and if you don't eat well, you will die. Now, obviously, people want to die, but there's quicker ways to do it than when you're 60. You have no 60 years worth of people, and you're just obese and letting yourself go. There's nothing wrong with being obese. If you want to be obese, I am happy for you if you're happy. The problem is, most of these tunes are not happy. They are depressed, miserable, and they make TikToks for us to sit here in our chairs and be angry at. I mean, holy hell, we are not here to judge anyone but we're gonna judge. So as a kid, I wasn't rich, I wasn't poor. You know, if I wanted a PlayStation, it got bought at Christmas and that was your Christmas present. That's all you got, you know what I mean? Here you go, shut the fuck up, buy your own games. But one thing I would always pride my mum and dad on is always trying to be healthy. My mum so, more than others, other being my father, he um, obviously resulted to fish and chips. I mean, uh, fish finger sandwiches, smiley face potatoes, but he'd always have peas, you know, he'd always have some frozen veg just to look like he made an effort. But, I found a, uh, a lovely specimen on the internet. Dinner for my kids as a 27-year-old mum of three. Now, there's a few things, a few questions we'll, we'll raise here. Firstly, 27. Okay, interesting age. Three, three children at that age. I mean, something must have gone horrifically wrong or gone to plan. Either or, I'm not sure. I don't want to know where they came from, presumably from inside you. But at the same time, if you're happy with three kids, then that's fine. What I will not accept is this shit that you are serving them. I understand money is tight with everyone, but if you can't, you know, if you don't have enough money for raising three children, which is pretty, pretty acceptable in today's climate, you know, in having no money, I have no money, but I also don't have three kids. Yes, I'm five years younger than you, a bit more than five, but I haven't, I, I thought, no, hold off. I don't want children. First, because I don't know how they're made. People have not told me yet, but secondly, because I know I couldn't raise them. Not well, give them the life they deserve. So she filmed a TikTok for some reason. That's the bit I can't stand. You know, your kids are struggling, you're struggling, and you sat here filming TikToks of fro <laughs> frozen hot dogs. That is something I don't understand, you Americanos. How do you eat shit like that? I mean, we like a sausage. I don't really anymore since, like, then they're kind of grim. But when I was young, I'd eat a sausage. That's what she said. And anyway, like, hot dogs are the worst. So she's putting processed nasty sausage dogs. Who knows what they're made of? Probably fucking snail meat. And then adds seasonings. Whatever God knows that is. And then she fries them. She whips out her scissors that she, you know, cuts her bag of drugs. That was horrible. She doesn't do drugs. And she slices them. And then she, you know, she got us that air view angle, just in case you didn't, couldn't imagine what six processed hot dogs looked like burnt to a crisp. She then, what's this? Adds... Is that water? Then milk, cream, fucking guess what that, I mean, what on earth, she's putting in a whole cow, oh fuck, she's putting like cheese puffs in, oh no, fuck, you know what I mean, I am not trying to be mean here, but it's so hard, like you have such, you know, so much food around you, butchers, this, that and the other, you don't have to spend thousands on food, but it's not like, you know, buying this shit is any better for you. You know what I mean? You just eat shit. I'd love to see what a snack drawer looks like. <laughs> Fuck. That was mean. That was mean. I'll accept being mean there. But I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to give constructive criticism. Like, get some other meat. Like, chicken. Chicken's pretty cheap-ish. You know what I mean? You can buy a pack of chicken for, like, ten bucks, surely. She then boils that with what... Fuck knows what she put in. Fuck knows what she's adding in now. Seasoning. Paprika. I mean, God pepper i mean you know what i mean she's got an electric grinder an electric grinder you're telling me a pack of chickens too much but let's let's splash on the electrical grinder because that's an essential bit of kit isn't it fucking hell forget the f shoes on your feet forget the clothes to keep you warm during the winter time let's get the electric pepper fucking grinder out huh that's a that's a cracking idea mum oh just i mean that looks like disease in a pan I'm sorry, I couldn't see that. Lovely. Jesus. More cheese, more salt, more 
diabetes, you take your pick. I, I can't work it out. Slap that shit. Slap that shit good, baby. Slap that shit good. I mean, look, so she's making like a cheesy pasta. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're happy. I mean, if my mum threw my plate out like that, I think I'd, th I'd throw it back at her and be like, look, I appreciate you've made me frozen sausages and nasty mac and cheese, but it doesn't mean you can throw that. Oh, don't worry. We'll get the carrot sticks. Hell yeah, dude. Save our kids. Save our children. Save our kids. Save our children. You know what I mean? Like, I know obesity is... Oh, and then she just adds more shit on top. I mean, have you not done enough to their arteries? Fucking hell, they'll have a heart attack after looking at it. Five-year-old's plate. Seven-year-old's plate. Have a good night. Fuck, I will be having a better night than your kids, let's put it like that. I mean, look, again, money's tight, this, that, and the other, but there are there are ways around it, you know what I mean? I don't have a lot of money, but I eat, you know, healthy. Protein, a carbohydrate source, and some vegetables. What in the fuck was that? I mean, technically, she's she's got the protein, she's got the carbohydrate, she's got the veg, okay, fine. But yeah, anyway, guys, that is uh, possibly one of the worst meals I've ever seen. I'm glad I was never fed anything like that. Uh, because I probably wouldn't be here today to speak to all four of you, which I love, by the way. Um, yeah, it's just sad, isn't it? I think, you know, people need educating and or, you know, dr dr fuck, groceries need to drop. You know, food and drinks and all that need to take a dip. The government needs to help people like this with, you know, 27-year-old with three kids, you know, and just, did they have a dad? I mean... You... Yeah, you tell me. I mean, if you were a husband and you were going out working and that is the slop you were provided, I think I'd probably stay at work. <laughs> I think I'd probably not come home. I'd be like, it's all right, love, I've got stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that that stuff. Yeah, keep it there, I'll, I'll eat it when I never come home. But anyway, again, we're not being horrible at her. We're being horrible at her food. That is dire. Get Gordon Ramsay to react to it and tell me what he says. I mean, that, that shit stinks. I can smell it from here. Poor kids. I hope they have some proper meals like, you know, fish finger sandwiches and smiley face potatoes and all that good stuff. Maybe some hash browns. They make you trip balls, bro. You start seeing shit on the walls. You're like, what the fuck was that, man? But yeah. God, good luck, America, and all your health care and your arteries. Good luck.